Matt Manley here with Shane Andrews from RBC. Casey's with a 7-2 win today over Donovan Catholic. And uh, got a homer in there, one of the two homers that uh, you guys hit today. Line shot over the wall, had a feel to uh, get on the board, get you guys some uh, insurance runs when you uh, connected on that one. You know, we definitely needed it from only scoring in the first inning, so it was another fire up for us to get us going again. Yeah, like you mentioned, five runs in the first inning against uh, you know, a team that started the year ranked in the top 20. Their top five team in the shore. They've got a lot of guys back just like you guys do. Uh, what sort of message do you think you send when you put up a five spot on a, on a team that comes in here? Pretty motivated to send a message in their own right. Honestly, it was just like, this is our field. Like, you don't come on here and beat us. Like, we, we knew from the start we were going to beat them. Yeah. No, we had no doubt. Tell me about being behind the plate for uh, Steve Svensson today. Um, really good start for him. He gave up two hits for the whole game. Took a no-hitter into the fifth. Just gave up that homer. Um, just what would you see from him today? It's, you know, especially a guy coming off that first game. He took the loss when you guys were at Rumson, and he's been he's been pretty much mistake free since then. He was great today. I mean, he was pinpoint on his fastball and his slider was gross like usual. And I'm not surprised he went the full seven. Yeah. What makes him tough? Because you watch him, and you know, if you have a radar gun behind the plate, he's in the mid 80s. But you do see a kind of a funky angle. He can change it up a little bit. His his stuff seems to move. Just from the catcher's perspective, what are you seeing back there when you're catching him? Yeah, his fastball moves both ways, and his slider is almost unhittable. It is just it just sweeps right across. So he it's very hard to hit him. Yeah, tell me about the top part of this lineup. The five guys you have back were all starters. Actually, the six. Um, you can throw Matt Bruner in there, and um, you know you guys to have Staniak started off with a home run. You know, you guys have some thunder in that first group of the lineup. How about the way you guys are swinging it as a group so far? Our top five is just one after another. can get a hit whenever we want. And I feel like that's our biggest advantage, being able to just put up a four or five spot whenever we want. Yeah, and you, know, you have an interesting view behind the plate. You can see everything. How about, you know, one thing that stands out about you guys is the ground you guys cover in the outfield is, is pretty spectacular. You saw uh, Brunner goes out and makes a great play at the wall today on a ball to the warning track. Paso's making a sliding catch. Staniak's coming in. How about from your perspective behind the plate when, you know, you stand up on a fly ball, take the mask off, see where it is. What do you think when one of those guys are trying to run a ball down? Honestly, they some of these hits, they seem like they're going to drop. Yeah. But then I realized that we have three of the fastest outfielders, and I know they're going to get to that ball. Like, I knew, I knew Brunner was going to catch that ball in center. He, yeah. He doesn't miss those. Yeah, pretty awesome play. How are you guys feeling about yourselves? You lost that opener and looked like you guys had one in the bag and let it get away, but since then it's been... It's been a pretty clean, uh, clean run for RBC. You know, first loss, it was the first game of the season, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to try to win every game past that. Yeah. Shane Andrews, Red Bank Catholic catcher. Appreciate the time. Thank you.